Hello, and welcome back to Frozen Fruits. I think we're literally almost done. I might actually put this in the previous episode if I finish quickly because it's we're 97%, so that's pretty much... The thing I wish I'd done differently was have um, a theme with things that went together instead of a bunch of individual pieces. Yeah, that is good feedback, because I was also thinking of getting random shit around it, like daisies and, like, leaves and stuff, but I was like, wait, I feel like I need a... We need to have themes. Like, this arm is water, and then this arm will be, like, flowers and stuff. Oh my god, I forgot about this one. We're never getting out of here. That's okay, that means we can just talk about tattoos till the end of time. Um, I did kind of predict this, but it's still kind of funny that <laughs> I was like, just one, but then I was like, I know myself, and I know once I do it, I'm just gonna wanna get like 50,000 and it's, it's happening. It's okay. What if the tattoo gets lonely, you know? <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, I do just like the idea of it being filled out because I just, I want it to be, I don't know, just like, I want it to cover the whole space. And I love the stars. It does seem like the stars maybe at first seem a little out of place, but I do think it makes sense with the astrology sign and also maybe they're like reflecting on the on the water, you know? What if I just paint my whole arm blue? Or just get the whole arm tattooed blue? Oh, I think this is it. Oh, hell yeah. It's a sign. Uh. What the hell? I gotta be more centered on it, maybe. Oh my god, okay, um, while I was doing my art project today, whoops, of trying to figure out what to add to my tattoo, I, um, I was watching on HBO Max, or I guess it's just Max now, right? Um, Quiet on the set. I, like, watched, I watched part of it with my friend, did I already talk about this? I can't remember if I talked about this or not, but I watched part of it with my friend in New York, while I was recovering from my tattoo. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. It's like not that big of a deal. It's just skin. Um, and then I watched like the last two episodes here um, in my home. And oh my God, it's crazy what happened. Did any of you like, I don't, I feel like we have a lot of ages in chat, but did anyone watch a bunch of Nickelodeon growing up? Because I did, and I was very upset to figure out all the shit that happened. Um, it's crazy. You did? Yeah. Yeah, I was of the, I wasn't really in the, not much in the way of live shows now. Yeah, so I really liked Fairly Odd Parents. That was a big one. I also, I was more not really into the Drake and Josh or iCarly or Sam and Cat or anything like that because I was already like a teenager by then. But I really liked the Amanda show. Like, that shit was my jam. I loved that show so much. And it breaks my heart to see what happened to Amanda. 
I can barely remember the shows I watched. Rocko's Modern Life. Real Monsters. Hey dude, salute your shorts. I've never heard of those. Was Amanda abused? So there has there haven't been, at least from the what the documentary covered they didn't explicitly say that she was abused um definitely overworked um but it was kind of implied that there was something sus going on but maybe it just like n it it didn't go to trial or anything, or like there wasn't an accusation officially made. At least that's what I gathered. But like, people were talking about how she was just like, Dan Schneider was very hands on with her, like, literally. Like, they would be like, she would just be hugging him or like massaging his neck, and he would just like be way too like touchy with her. Um, allegedly. Um, I just have to say that just in case. <laughs> but that's what the docuseries said. Um, and yeah, it just was like, or there was a comment where they were like, you know, when all the kids were doing school and stuff, like she was alone with Dan Schneider a lot. And everyone was like, it was very weird. Yeah, for legal reasons. Um, and so I just have to wonder what happened, like, behind closed doors and, like, also just, like, Dan Schneider being an asshole to the women in the writer's room, allegedly, and, like, um, why can't I fucking get that? And then, like, the literal things that happened to Drake Bell. Oh my god, that shit was so fucked up. I can't really say it on stream because it's way, it's crazy and sick, but like, yeah, so it's just like all happening. I, w I was like just watching in shock. I was like, there's no way, except there is. But, I don't know. We can't have, like nothing is sacred. We can't have anything. How come we can't ever have anything? There's nothing in this world that's just, like, pure. Except for this channel, we're pure. This is a Christian stream. We have each other, yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but... Uh, what else did I do today? I had some hummus, that was epic. I obsessed over my tattoo. I washed it and shed a tear. It it like stings. It really stings. Oh. I had a protein shake. Um, I watched a TikTok that was saying that technically, um, you can watch the eclipse without sunglasses for, like, a few seconds while the sun is, like, directly behind the moon. But that they don't really say that on the news because they don't want to be liable. So... But I think you have to be in, what is it, the path of totality? So I will probably not be doing that. <laughs> I think, didn't we talk about a couple years ago how there's this guy who like broke the world record for looking at the sun directly? I do really like the... I feel like when things like this happen, this is when people, we really unite as a country. <laughs> that sounds dumb, but I just like, when earthquakes happen, which are like bad, but, 
or when cool thing like cool nature things like the eclipse happens it's like we can all agree on something for once <laughs> Depending on where you are in the path of totality will determine how long the total eclipse lasts. It can be up, up to four minutes of total coverage. Oh shit, so you can look directly at it. Yeah, I will, I will enjoy looking at pictures of like the eclipse that other people took from them watching it. I remember the last time this happened, I was in Pittsburgh, um, like, at an allergy appointment, <laughs> and I was, like, the only patient there because it was, like, a random time, and me and all the nurses, like, just <laughs> hung out in my room <laughs> and watched it. It was so cool. <laughs> they were like, you're one of us now, here's your glasses, so, like, they had drinks and glasses, so I was just like waiting for my allergy test to come back because I have to get tested every now and then. And um, yeah, I just chilled with them and we looked outside and I got the glasses and we were just, it was a good time. Me and the nursing staff. Heck yeah. If you can go, you should. There won't be another one in the lower 48 states for another 20 years. See, I'm confused, though, because I feel like that's what was said last time, but last time was, it would have had to have been 2017, right? Or is that, or was it a different thing? And that was in Pittsburgh, and that's pretty close, that, I mean, that is the East Coast, right, technically? I don't know. It's supposed to be cloudy, though. Oh, shit. Okay, I guess I'll just practice this part a little bit here. That's it. That's literally it. Fuck. 2017 was a total eclipse. I took a trip to see that one. Oh, cool. Wait, so what is this? <laughs> is this a total eclipse? Oh, no, I got green tea on my Pusheen dust mat. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I'm not getting that angle correctly, so I think maybe I'll just... Okay, no, that's not a good idea. Let's just... Let's just do better, honestly. Hit it like a little bit lower. They are the same. The news gets weird about phrasing things. Like, this is also a once in a century eclipse, I believe, because it's crossing three countries in North America, uh, Mexico, the US, and Canada. Um, yeah, I feel like. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I'm always like, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> it is still cool though. It's not like this happens every day, so. Okay, I think I need to just like... I just like... And then I'll just go from here. Fuck. It's so difficult. Okay, maybe 
Maybe I'm hitting it too low now. Sometimes I'll just get like a random twinge of pain from it. From the tattoo, by the way. Um. Ugh. This level is agonizing. Yes, okay, it's go time, beaches. Gotta be it. It's got to be it. Fuck. Didn't even make it. Oh, I forgot to flip my calendar to April. Oh, no. That is not good. I went to a very small private high school and after I graduated they hired a new English teacher who groomed a freshman girl as soon as she turned 18 he left the school and entered into a relationship with her he's like 50 oh my god uh, that's insane uh, ugh that's what I'm saying. Like we can't, we can't have anything without someone ruining it. Can't even have school. Um, yeah, there was a professor who married one of his students at one of the institutions I went to. I can't. I probably shouldn't say which one, but um, but yeah, it was crazy. And he was, like, very old. It was, like, the same situation. Okay. Oh, fuck. I'm glad that as a society though we're like talking more about these things and like people understand now what it's what it means to be like groomed and stuff like that because like that wasn't really common knowledge at least for me growing up like people didn't really talk about stuff like that so at least we're becoming more aware but that doesn't mean it's like stopping oh please dear god 
Fuck, that would have been it, too. I'm always a little sus of adults who are inclined to want to work with kids. But that, yeah, I, I understand your point. It's just so hard because it's like, we need people to work with kids and like, it's just hard to tease out the people who are doing it for malicious reasons versus like pure reasons. Like, there's no foolproof way to just detect that, and we need to get on that. And I've, like, I've heard that, like, male teachers, like, in primary school, you know, can feel very ostracized or, um, excluded or judged because people, like, think their intentions are bad. And I feel for them, but also it's like, there are good reasons that people are so scared, you know? And like, a little, you know, side-eye about it. Although it is predominantly men committing these crimes, we also need to be careful to not exclude, like, women out of the conversation of being predators because women can also 100% be fucking creeps. And there is this weird, like, thing that happens... Like, very gross thing that happens when, like, a female teacher... Um assaults like a male student and everyone's reaction is like hell yeah lol like good for him and it's like bro what we need to be protecting boys too like hello are, we, are you okay I just don't understand it okay true it's always the male English teacher though true <laughs> These days I feel like I've been seeing a lot of stories about female teachers with male students. Yeah, and I feel like maybe they've always existed, but more are coming to light because more people are understanding that it's wrong, but maybe in the past people just have that attitude of like, ha ha ha. But... Probably because my tattoo isn't finished. As much as it annoys me to have it, like, not be 100% done as far as, like, I want to add more things, it I think it is a good idea to, like, do it gradually because I wouldn't have lasted if, if we did the whole forearm. And also, I need to, like, heal from this and, like, let my arm have a break. And then we'll do more. Fuck. Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. No! <laughs> it's really hard to time that with the guy. What the hell? 
hell? How do I tie? Like, how? Ooh, Michael E. Burleson. I find you. We will exchange words. This is it, this is it, it has to be. No, you've got to be kidding me! <sighs> the only thing keeping me from living my dreams. coming out soon like I feel like I'm not on top of these dates I can already tell this one's not gonna work out oh <gasps> it worked out see this is why I'm so bad I can't <laughs> I can't tell I don't have good intuition took us like 40 minutes. The end? Oh, we did it. We beat the whole game. Oh, I'm like kind of sad. I didn't want it to be over so quickly. What the heck? Uh. Well, I love this game. If any of you guys at home on Twitch or YouTube, wherever you may be, are interested in playing this, it's free. You can download it online. They adapted it for uh, the the community is super cool. They keep it alive. You can you can download it. I'm playing it on Windows, Windows 10, I think, um, but yeah, and the soundtrack is on YouTube as well. Um, yeah, so this game was from the early 2000s. I played it with my dad. Um, I don't know how he was so cool enough to like find super niche games like this, but yeah, this, this one was a really fun one. This is the second one. The first one was by the original devs, and then the second one was a fan-made project. Um, but yeah, that's Frozen Fruits. Um, definitely still fun after all these years. I think it's still a solid puzzle game. It, like, adds a lot of cool elements to, like, the, maybe the regular, like, brick game, brick breaker game, um, with tons of fruit. But, um, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've played this game, and we will catch you in the next one.